Hi there. So I know many of you are looking for that mid-range smartphone which isn't made in China. Well, here's your pick. The Samsung A31. Now I've been using this for over a month now as a secondary device and I realized I'm using it more than my primary device. It's so good. In this video, I'm going to tell you five reasons why you should buy the Samsung A31 because it's a perfect mid-range phone. But before that, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend Texing. Let's get started. So I'm not going to talk about its specs, speed and benchmarks. For an average buyer, it makes no sense at all. We all know that the higher the benchmarks means better performance, but eventually it comes down to real world user experience. So I'm going to talk from that point of view. First point, the display. Wow. Even wow is an understatement. No one beats Samsung when it comes to displays, hands down. It has a 6.4 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixel. It has a small notch on the top for the front facing camera and the proximity sensor. I found it to be more than adequate in terms of brightness, even in the daytime. Colors were a bit saturated and were set to vivid by default in the display settings, but that can be toned down in the settings if you don't like them. There is an in-display fingerprint scanner, which isn't the fastest, but works well as long as you give it a firm press. I preferred the face recognition. It was actually faster than the fingerprint scanner, but technically not the most secure. The always on display has basic customizations such as the ability to show time, date, and some notifications. Now I see a lot of videos and movies on the Samsung A31 and it was really impressive. The gorgeous display on the Samsung A31 is one of its biggest strengths. Second, One UI. The device is running the latest Android TV 10. Can't say latest anymore as Android 11 has been announced and yeah, that's still in beta so I'll still say this is latest. Now I have a confession, I hated the One UI. I felt it was just too cartoony. Yeah, that's funny coming from a guy who uses an iPhone as a primary device. But after using it for a couple of days, I did realize why so many people buy the Samsung phone. It's ease of use. Small things we don't notice that are just handled a lot more better on the One UI. Open the settings and everything is set to use with one hand. Pull down the quick toggle and everything is used to one hand again. The fluidity was smooth as silk. The animations of opening and closing the apps was quick and extremely lag free. Smart Edge was extremely handy and ease of use even with one hand. There is so much more to talk about the One UI but I'll sum it up by saying it just flows. Third, Camera. Now who doesn't like a quad camera setup? The main shooter is a 48 megapixel along with an 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel depth sensor and 5 megapixel macro. Now camera doesn't have any mind blowing results but is that camera where it gets most of the simple shots perfect. The 48 megapixel camera does pretty well in daytime shots but suffers when it came to low light mode. I mean not totally bad but not the best either. Rest cameras are just there for your Instagram posting thrills. The macro does its job well, ultra wide gets a wide shot and the depth sensor gets you good bokeh effect. Nothing great but nothing too bad. The camera records video only up to 1080p. Why? Why? Why no 4K? Well I guess this is the single most negative point of the Samsung A31 camera. The front camera is a 20 megapixel shooter but shoots at 12 megapixel by default. Just like the rear camera, it's impressive during the day and kind of disappointing with low light photos. It gets the job done but leaves you wanting for that little more. But probably I'm over expecting it's good for the price. Fourth, the battery. So the Samsung A31 comes with a 5000 mAh battery. Which is good but surely we have seen other Samsung phones that have bigger batteries. Then what's so good about this? Well, this is the perfect size. It's not too big, not too small, keeps the phone light and slim and trust me it makes a huge difference in day to day use. We get a 15 watt charging brick in the box. 15 watt charger? Really? Anyway, it gets to around 50% in about 45 minutes while it takes around 2 hours to fully charge. I never killed the battery till the end of the day considering I'm using Instagram, Twitter, emails and WhatsApp. What more do I need? No bulk, just hulk. Wow, that's a great line. Fifth, video and audio. Now clearly when we buy this phone, we are going to consume a lot of online data in form of videos and music. So it supports Google's Wildvine L1 certification which means video streaming apps can play content at display's native resolution. It also supports Dolby Atmos which takes the audio experience to a whole new level. The earphones also come bundled in the package. It might not be a big thing but when you need it and you get one in the box, it's kind of a big thing. 
The phone also supports NFC which for me is a huge plus to pair some of the Bluetooth headphones which connect via NFC. Super helpful for me. And of course, Samsung Pay. So finally, let me tell you that the Samsung A31 ain't no powerhouse. In fact, if you want to do heavy gaming, look somewhere else. You can play PUBG, Asphalt 9 and gaming but the experience will not be that great. It's a perfect mid-ranger, jack of all trades. It's an amazing secondary phone. It's an amazing phone to give to your parents who want a big screen with an easy interface, huge battery that should survive for two days on medium use. And above all, it looks extremely premium. Something that the A series is known for. It's a phone that you can't go wrong with. It's available only in one configuration, 6GB RAM and 128GB internal storage. It's got a dual SIM card slot and a dedicated micro SD card slot. It's perfect, something I always prefer when I'm buying an Android phone, a dedicated micro SD card slot. It's selling on Flipkart for $20,999. I'll leave the links below in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. Write down in the comments and let me know if there are any questions regarding the A31. I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.